Hi, I'm Dan LeMay. I'm the instructor for your statistics course. Um, I'm recording this. Uh, I'm teaching two statistics courses this spring. One is a, a short course, accelerated course. You do the whole course in seven weeks. The other one is we're going to Zoom on Thursday at Thursday evenings from six to eight, and we'll have a little bit of almost face-to-face -face, uh, interaction, and, that, and that's required. And, and both texts, both courses use the same textbook, so. Um, I'm gonna, the purpose of this video is to show you how to get there. So I'm going to share my screen here, and um, I'm, so I'm in the short course. Uh, just a minute here. Okay, you set it up so I'm viewing this as a student for what it looks like for you folks. So um, there's a couple of things. Well, while I'm at it, let's just do a little bit more than just the book. This, I'll put in a plug for getting help with me. Uh, you have a tutoring.com available to you. If you go use those, uh, those that, that tutoring service, uh, where is it? Right here. Uh, they're available 24 seven, or you can set an appointment if you like the person you're working with. And that's fine. Yeah, I encourage you to get some help somewhere, either locally or there, but you also have access to me. And I have these on uh, office hours available here. I have quite a few. The only thing I ask is that you don't, well, let me click on this. Um, I, I have this video here that shows you how to do this, but let me do a little bit more just so that we avoid some confusion. Um, so like I don't have anything available today, right? Um, so for next Monday, um, I have plenty. Usually, I don't. I work at Oxford High School as my full-time job, and uh, and well, CCB is just about a full-time job too. So I better. I've been doing. I've been teaching. Uh, the high school gig a little bit longer than CCB. CCB though it like, again, not very much longer, a couple of years. But anyways, I, I digress. Um, during the school day, so after 2.30, you're more than welcome to book any time with me, but any of these morning times, like you see next, yeah, so you see like next on, on the 12th, so you guys aren't gonna be taking the course on the 12th. Um, but if you have these morning times here, please don't use those because I'm at Oxbow, those are for Oxbow students, or they have me teach a high school course, a BCBLC high school course. That's time I can't mix my CCB time and my Oxbow time. I gotta keep them, I gotta keep Oxbow clean. So, but any of these other times, you're more than welcome to book grab time with me. Um, I, I have a couple of hours in the afternoon or an hour and a half in the afternoon. And actually I have a couple hours in the afternoon and then those evening hours, usually Monday through Friday. Um, sometimes I'm a little, I'm, I'm booked up a little differently or I've got to go do something and you won't see those. You've got to schedule this, you got to plan ahead by 12 hours because if you are like, like uh, well, like today, I have some time available today, but because I put the 12 hour requirement because I want to be able to plan out my day. Nobody's booked me, so I mean, you can't get time that day. I'm just saying. So, but any other day, you know, after 2:30 or more, I'd be glad to help you. I'd love to help you. We'll use Zoom. We'll be looking at the same computer screen. It's a great, it's a great, uh, it's a great resource. I mean, it works really well for doing math. If you just have uh, general questions, we we can certainly have a live conversation. We could use a phone call. We can do it through email. So it doesn't have to be a live Zoom. I, I'm sure you're sick of Zoom meetings, you're sick of Zoom meetings as I am. One on one, they aren't bad. Sitting in a group of 200 people is not like something I want to do. So we'll see how this short course goes Thursday night. Uh, I think there's 13 people scheduled right now. All right, so that's that's the cat, that's how you can get help from me. It works really well, guys. I can't, I can't stress enough how well getting this online work help help works. When it's one on one and we're looking at problems, it's 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 really good. Um, I, I'm not just saying that from a from a, a teacher side. I'm saying this from a student side. I've had uh, CCB used to have me do e-tutoring. That was the precursor of the tutoring.com, and I had regular people show up every week. Not so much CCB students, but they used to work. With, we used to work with colleges in uh, Connecticut and, and Massachusetts, and in New York City. And I mean, I think the furthest away I ever worked with anybody was from. Uh, uh, from a school down in New Jersey, northern New Jersey, that was part of the consortium. And I mean, I've worked with people, I've worked with students, the, my students from CCB that have been in India and Japan, we just got to juggle the time differences, that's all. So, 
So it works really well, though. I can't, I can't stress that enough. So anyways, let's come back. I really wanted to do this about the, about the textbook. So, so if you want help, if you can't figure out how to do that calendar, here's a help video for you. Now, how do you get into the course? Well, um, you click on this module's link, this module's link, and I always, okay, I, I never click on those. I always click on that module. I should make sure those other links are working. And here's the home page back to the one I was just on. And this is a this is a CCB document they want to have in here. Um, let's check this out. So this is the what to do. This is about change. This is a video I made about changing your profile. I don't know if you can actually do that anymore, um, but I've left it in there in case we can. That way, because I go by Dan, not by Mr. LeMay or by Professor. So, and I said that in my introduction. Let's we'll do that. The other thing you want to do is you want to make make sure you go print. This is the official uh, course description that has um, the learning outcomes, um, when does the course run, yada, yada. You want to go get a copy of that and save it. I mean, you can print it if you want, but at least save a PDF of it. And because if you, what's going to happen there, you're probably going to go to a different school and to get a different degree and you want and you want to be able to apply this to this course there so you don't have to take the course again. And depending on the school, most Vermont schools know what MAT 2021 from CCB looks like. But if you go to another school, they might not. And they're going to want to see what did you learn in the course? And that will they'll say, okay, so these, these, these objectives meet the requirements for this course. Well, they'll give you credit for that course. And depending on your major, it might be good enough and you won't have to take statistics again, um, which would be ideal. Huh? Um, so there's that. Uh, then what else do I have here? There's this video about what to do. I've tried to make sure that's updated. Um, okay, yeah, I'm going to send you an email and uh, to your CCD account. You want to make sure you reply just so we make sure we're working on that. Email usually, official email that I send will go to your CCD account or whatever. You can also set up a forwarding so that if, the, if you don't check that account much, it'll get forwarded to whatever email account you want. So let's go to this FAQ. So I've got um, all these questions people have asked me over time, and I thought I'd just put them right, put them right here so that you have always had access to this. The books is what I wanted to point out today. So we're using this uh, Think Do series. Uh, it's just actually just point on the series. Scott Stevens is a professor from Champlain College. He's done a great job writing inexpensive statistics books. Um, he's also got a bunch of support materials, videos for each week, each chapter. That's the link to it. Um, and it's published from here and yada, yada. So what are you going to do? I've got all this stuff. We're also going to buy, yeah, the web assignment. You have to, you have, whether or not you buy the paper textbook is up to you. Um, the web assignment, you have to buy, okay? So let me show you, just, just I'm going to show you the official way the CCB wants you to buy this textbook, okay? Because they like if you buy it through eCampus, they can support you if something screws up, and it does screw up. It, they they say it, it's worth your time. I mean, it's worth your time to, if, if you want to buy from them. And it's the most expensive way to do it. I'm going to show you some other ways to do it too. Um, some people are really good about finding cheap ways to buy textbooks, and that if you can do that, do it. So this is Math 2021. If you're in the short course, the accelerated course, it's the 001X, the synchronous course where we're going to meet uh, on Thursday nights is right there. That's the old course. They use the same textbook, so it doesn't matter. And they also you know, when I get the materials. So here's what you got to buy. You have to buy that web assign access. It comes with here. Let me get a pointer going. It comes with an ebook. So if you're okay reading it on the screen, or maybe you don't read textbooks. Um, I'm going to put a pitch for you this semester. You might want to. Okay, but anyways, it comes with an ebook. Comes with problems. You'll have you'll have to answer a problem in the discussion forum each week. Um, the, the short the the synchronous course isn't going to have to have that requirement. The short course has to. You have to make two posts each week. Um, Got to buy it new. You don't want to buy it used because the, the access codes are a one-time deal. And it costs the eCampus is charging you 65 bucks. Now, if you want to, 
buy a buy it. This is the paper yeah. paper edition of the ebook. What's nice about having this is you can go use Dr. Stevens' videos, take notes, write in the book, and you watch you right through all the examples. It's almost like a workbook. Um, I would buy it new because that way you can write on it. I'm going to show you in a minute how to buy this to get this less in a cheaper manner. I wouldn't rent it because then you can't write in it. Right? So that's how you buy, and I'm sure you bought e textbooks here, so I, I won't I won't go into that. I don't know that I have used the chance to buy textbooks, but you're probably more up to speed on that than me. What is the cheaper way to buy this book? Let's close this down. So what you can do is go out to WebAssign and log in. But because you are a, let's see if we can get this work. It's not working again. Well, you can get it through WebAssign. It's cheaper. Uh, something's up today. I don't know if it's my browser or or, or what. Uh, you can you get a two week you get a two week trial. Maybe it's only a seven days. No, it's a it's a two week trial, and you don't have the ebook available, but you have all the homework available. I'm also going to provide uh, PDFs of the textbook in Canvas. So even though they don't have the ebook available, you'll have access to the pages. I only can do that for two weeks because I don't want to break copyright laws. I figure it's okay for a couple of weeks while you guys are scraping up money to do this. Um, they sell it for much less money. It's usually, um, I think it's $42 last I looked at compared to $65 that that uh, eCampus is charging you. So, I mean, I would consider doing it this way and it's really easy to do. Uh, they'll take the card, they'll take, and you don't have to pay you don't have to pay, like I said, you don't have to pay up front. It used to be two weeks, and I think we're still doing that. Okay. Um, so that's that. Now, what if you want to buy the either the paper textbook, but you don't want to pay $35 for it? If you go here to this link, this takes you out to the Worldwide Center of Math. See, they're selling the print, they'll ship you one for 30 bucks. What I would do if you have access to a Cheap way to print, buy the PDF, okay, and it's only 10 bucks to download. And then what you can do, then what you can do is you can print it and put it, hole punch it, put it in a three ring binder, and it's only going to cost you 10 bucks plus whatever it costs to print it. So that's, that's what I would do. Uh, and that's what I would encourage you to do, but you got to know you're comfortable, you're, you're, how comfortable you are. I can't send you the PDF because I'd be breaking copyright laws. Okay, and it's only a ten dollar charge, so that's what I would do for as far as the textbook, especially if you're not an ebook person. So yeah, I wish I could do the video for the web assignment. Maybe I'll add to that later on. Uh, what else? Um, oh, here's a web assigned video that works. I'll bet you that works. The only thing you'll need is I'll have to make sure that this is the right access code too. Um, but what you'll do is you'll log in, it'll ask you for the, uh, the class P. That's what you need for the short course, right? I'm in the short course. The synchronous course has a different code, and, but it's in the same place. This is the bottom of the page. I have it in other places too. And I'm pretty sure those are accurate. Okay, and I do walk you through how to do that with this video. It's just that this is probably, uh, you know, uh, a couple of years old, and a few years old maybe, but it's all the same process. Okay, so I guess this video is long enough. Um, do I want to look at anything else while I'm here? Let's see. Um, I guess I have nothing I need to record. You can look and read this, read this stuff. Um, okay, give me the yellow key to help if you want from live help time. You know, go book, go book it with that calendar. Remember, you can book time with me right here and uh, it works really well okay i'll stop this video and and know whether i'm here to help please know that I, i'm not one of the i'm not just a lot there's a live person on the other side of the screen a passionate person about helping you learn math okay